Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen for today's easy dinner recipe. I want to share with you guys my favorite Italian minestrone soup with Italian sausage. This hearty, warming and delicious soup is packed with so much great flavor and it's the ultimate comfort food. We're going to add tons of veggies into this soup. We're going to have some zucchini, diced tomatoes, onions, carrots, garlic, even add a little bit of beans and pasta. Now a lot of minestrone soups are actually vegetarian. They don't have the sausage but I love to add some Italian sausage. I just find that it adds even more incredible flavor and makes the soup more hearty. I like to finish it off with a little bit of cheese, some toasted bread. It is just incredible. For the full list of ingredients and the instructions, make sure to head on down the video description box and follow that link over to my website. You'll find all the info online. Meanwhile, let's get started on this incredible recipe. You guys are going to love this easy one pot recipe. However, for today's video, I am going to be using a frying pan just for video purposes so you guys can have a better visual of how I prepare all my ingredients. But when I'm making this for myself at home, I just use one large pot to put it all together. I'm going to set this aside for now and we'll get started with the recipe. I'm going to get things started with my Italian sausage. I'm going to preheat a pan over medium high heat and today I'm using one pound of mild Italian sausage. If you want to add a little bit of spiciness to your soup, feel free to use a hot or spicy version of the sausage. Let this pan preheat first. Add a little drizzle of avocado oil. I'm going to add my Italian sausage into the hot oil. And I'm just going to kind of break it apart into smaller pieces and then as it fries I'm going to continue to break it up into even smaller pieces. You want like little chunks of sausage in your soup. And once my sausage is nicely brown I'm just going to transfer it into a separate bowl and set aside the sausage for now. Next into the pan, I'm gonna add in a couple tablespoons of butter. I love to cook with a high quality salted butter. It just adds lots of great flavor. I'm gonna let that butter melt. Into my melted butter, I'm going to add in one large diced onion. About one cup of diced carrots. I used three medium ones today. And two diced celery sticks. We'll toss this all together and allow it to cook anywhere from six to eight, even nine minutes until the onion and carrots are tender. Next I'll add in eight minced garlic cloves. You can use anywhere from four to eight. I just love having garlic flavor. Now toss that in with the carrots and the onion. Let that cook for about a minute. And once my garlic is cooked, I am ready to add in my wine. I'm going to be using about half a cup of wine. Pour that into the pan. And if you don't want to use wine in your cooking, you can also replace it with a little bit of chicken or vegetable broth. And I'll let this reduce for about a minute until most of the liquids have evaporated. I've brought out my soup pot and I'm going to transfer this mixture straight into the pot. I'm going to add my browned Italian sausage into the pan. We're going to combine this all together. The soup is so incredibly aromatic, so much flavor is going on. All right, next up we have our diced tomatoes. I'm going to be adding in uh, 28 ounces of petite diced tomatoes. You can also add crushed tomatoes if that's what you prefer. Drop those in. We'll need six ounces of tomato paste and this concentrated tomato paste is going to add lots of great flavor. Next up for our spices, I'm going to start with some ground black pepper. I'll be using two teaspoons of sea salt, but feel free to adjust the salt to your liking. One teaspoon of dried oregano. One teaspoon of dried basil. One teaspoon of regular paprika. One tablespoon of fresh rosemary, and I chop this into small bits and one tablespoon of fresh thyme. And we'll give this all a good mix to make sure everything is well combined. 
And finally, we're going to need eight cups of vegetable broth. You can also use chicken broth for this recipe. And if you want your soup to be on the thinner side, you can increase this amount to about 10 cups. So this recipe does make a soup that's a little bit on the thicker side. We're gonna give this all a mix. I'm gonna turn up the temperature so this can come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, I'm going to reduce the temperature and let the soup simmer on a medium low heat, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I love to simmer this for longer because the longer it cooks, the more flavor it kind of develops. So if you have the time, let it simmer away for that good hour. We'll come back to add our final ingredients in just a little bit. My soup has been simmering away for about an hour now and it smells so incredibly delicious. Just looks incredible too. And I'm loving this deep red color from the tomatoes and the red wine also helps really intensify it. Next, I'm going to add in my pasta. So I have one cup of little tiny pasta shells. You can use just about any variety of small pasta. Drop that in. And I've also cubed two medium-sized green zucchini or squash. I'm going to drop those in as well. You can also use yellow squash for this. Stir this into the soup. I'm gonna set my heat to a medium. Let the soup simmer away for another 15 to 20 minutes until the pasta is completely cooked. The zucchini is nice and tender. And during the last five minutes, I'm going to add in a can. I think I have, it's a 15 ounce can of cannellini beans. You can use just about any variety. Just drain them, give them a quick rinse. I'm gonna add them during the last five minutes because they're already cooked and I don't want them to get too overcooked and kind of soggy. So we'll add those in later. Let's cover this to get the heat going a little bit quicker. And it's almost done. I can't wait to dig in. This soup is so incredibly delicious. And I'm going to add in my beans. Stir those in. And at the very end, I'm also going to sprinkle in some freshly chopped parsley. And our soup is all done. I want to show you guys a little close-up of what it looks like. I really like this thicker consistency, but of course, if you want it to be thinner, just add a couple extra cups of vegetable broth or you can even use water. Let's get some of the soup ladled out. I am loving the aroma. You have so many veggies, so many fresh herbs. You have that um, aroma from the Italian sausage. This is gonna be fantastic. I also like to sprinkle on a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top when serving this. And this soup is ready to be enjoyed. I also like to add a little bit of cracked black pepper on the top. And that is it for my Italian minestrone soup. This smells so incredibly delicious. For the full list of ingredients and the recipe, make sure to head on down the video description box and follow that link over to my website where you can print this recipe off and find all the information. I also like to have a little bit of toasted bread on the side to go with this. You can just kind of dip it in. It's like this rich, incredible sauce to go with the soup. Now this is still piping hot. Let's try to get some of this cool down. I am in soup heaven right now. This is ridiculously delicious. The amount of flavor in every single bite is just outstanding. I love getting chunks of the little bits of zucchini, you get some pasta, you get some of the Italian sauces. It is just incredible. Now again, if you wanna make this a vegetarian soup, you could skip the Italian sausage altogether and you're all set to go. You don't have to change anything else about the recipe. This is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now this recipe does make quite a bit of soup. It's a large pot of soup, but in my defense, it goes really fast. I personally like to eat at least two bowls of it because it's so incredibly warming, hearty, delicious, and flavor packed. It's like the ultimate comfort food, especially during those colder winter months when you're craving for something warming. You guys are going to love this recipe. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for that recipe link. I hope you guys love this recipe at home as much as I do, and I'll see you next time with a new one.